Hi, this is Taxis Chronicles and I'm your host Simon Rushton. So, um, I've just, just got, I want to talk about healthcare today. I want to talk about countries that pay, countries that don't. I just had a, a lady in the car, Chinese lady, um, very nice person, and she was saying how um, she got in there with her mask, medical mask on, and asked me why am I not wearing a mask and various other things. And I won't go into my personal views on this whole corona issue and the immune system and etc. But I'm comfortable as I am and I've been okay throughout the period of time. But I, I want to talk about what she spoke. And she said she'd rather be in China than England right now if she was sick. She clearly misses her family, but at the same time, she said, um, she made a point to say in China, the healthcare has been free, but now there's an epidemic, it's not free. Now, I wasn't sure if I understood what she said, first of all, so I actually kind of asked, reiterated the question or repeated what she said to me just to confirm and I actually did it about three times and she said yeah well it's not free now and it costs seven thousand um we shouldn't say dollars or pounds um to get health care in China and she said what people are doing and she said people are coming to China now and they they haven't got a Chinese passport or they're not really Chinese so I said, uh, but they're expected to get free healthcare. So this is why China's charging people. So I said, well, what do you mean they're not really Chinese? I said, are you saying they're people who are born who are Chinese heritage, but they've got a passport, and but they're not born there? And she said, yes, those people, they're no good. They're they're not us. They're not us. They're not Chinese. Their passport should have expired, or and things like this. And she's, she's really quite strong about it. And so, anyway, she, she this went on. This conversation went on. And um, I pointed out to her, well, don't you think it's sensible to give everybody free health care? And she said, well, if I was sick in England, yeah, and you're British, they would look after you and they wouldn't look after me. If, like, there was an air machine, you know, like one of those rest the air machines I can't remember what they're called they would give you it and not me because you're British and I said no we don't work like that we do triage and triage is for those who don't know and I explained to her is you give the person who's in the worst way medical help rather than the person who's not that bad off because you're buying that person time and the other person who's not that bad off can last that little bit longer I said other systems are the way you're speaking about it is really barbaric it's medieval so she kind of went quiet i think she felt a bit of shame to be honest but then I, I looked at it and i remember my time when i was in afghanistan and how i was working with we working alongside american soldiers and american soldiers strictly didn't believe in um free health care they said if you haven't put in the pot you shouldn't get any free health care and i like explained to them like this Chinese lady I said if you don't have free health care then how can you control sicknesses you can't they're just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and you can see it's a bit of food for thought but um, it was a bit of food for thought but let me pause this all right it's a bit of food for thought, but that's what I thought I'd just share about that podcast, about that situation and my experience with this other customer. Anyway, thanks for listening and feel free to like and subscribe and you can check out our other podcast called Taxis um, Africa Investing Stories. Thanks. Bye.